I gotta get up and move around. It's a long way up. Stiff old bone, baby, what you want to do? I got bones, bones, old bones, stiff old bones, stiff old Slow and some days fast. I got a tiny little future and a great big past. I got bones, bones, old bones to fold. That's a little song I wrote several years ago. I was gardening, uh, and uh, I was making some raised beds, which I would not recommend people to do. I made them out of old uh, railroad ties. Uh, anyway, I was noticing that it was a lot harder to do that kind of work than it had been not that long ago. And I was walking around uh, out down by the garden there, and I started kind of going bones, bones, old bones. And so I sat down in the shade for a little while and wrote that song. So that's the story of that one. Uh, let's see. Here's a little song called Where the Laughing River Flows, written up in the UP of Michigan. That part of the country that uh, Minnesota didn't want and Wisconsin didn't want. And uh, uh, I, I love the UP. I feel like they should secede from the Union, print their own money, maybe with a beaver or a book trout on it or something. 
Anyway, I was up there, and the way songwriting works for me, this little song I had in my head started bothering me to the point where I thought, well, I better get off the road and finish it up. Uh, it was a story about a minor league baseball player. I had the story going pretty good in a little tune, and I stopped, and I sat on the hood of my 74 Valiant, nicknamed, of course, the Prince, with the canoe on top and uh, wrote this song. I didn't really have a name for it yet. And I had parked right beside this real pretty little river. And uh, I looked up and there was a sign that said, The Laughing River. And I thought, well, that's a good name for a river. So I sat there and uh, wrote this little tune in not too long, and then I went fishing for a little while. <laughs> Goodbye to the bus and Goodbye to paying dues Goodbye to the cheer Goodbye to the booze I'm be trading in this old pack For a brand new fishing pole Gonna let that old
had this dream, uh, uh, and it was set kind of down in the swamp, you know, uh, Louisiana maybe, I don't know. And there was an old uh, roadhouse, but there was nothing, there was no other buildings around. There was kind of a rutted trail that came in there, and there were several cars parked around. There was a lot of drinking going on, and it said, in faded letters, it said Besham's Bokeri up on it, uh, at the top of the building. There were a lot of fights, uh, like in the edge of, it was kind of a, uh, you know, a dreadful kind of dream, this sense of dread, and uh, and this character in the song seemed to be looking for something, maybe his father, maybe someone he'd lost somehow. But it just had that quality to it. And I, I, I woke up from the dream, which is about the only way I remember dreams. I just woke up from it. And I'm, I had a guitar <laughs> sitting beside the bed because I'd been playing when I, before I went to bed. So I just picked up that guitar and I just sang the song. I didn't, I didn't change anything. It just came out, just boom. And then I wrote down the words. And it came out in that, that, that falsetto kind of eerie sound to it. So that's just the way it popped out, and that's about all I know about it. Ordinarily, I might discard a song like that, but I sang it a few times, and I thought, well, it has a certain mood to it. It has a certain thing that I kind of like. And of course, uh, singing in a different, singing in a falsetto voice was, that was an enjoyable thing to do, you know. So I enjoyed it, and I did it out a few times, and uh, people responded to it, so you know, where it came from, I don't know, it's wherever dreams come from. Have you ever been down to Besson's book?
Assim, assim.